Yo, hey yo, never get caught holding the grams Never take a bitch word over your mans Stay close to him, never let him know where you live Never let him get familiar with your dough or your kids Put the toast to him, always stay quiet and humble Don't be scared to take it to the knife or the gun in the rumble I can show you how to get your neck broke Stretch coke in the middle of the ocean on a mean duplex boat Look here, there is no competitor C9 with the spaceship doors that open up regular Get it on with the hard plastic My 16s have niggas feeling like they tripping off acid Then ain't no nigga gonna tell me I can't go get money over there. I don't I don't care. Shout to Surreal Mookie, yo, no doubt. So this is what I be saying, people laughing. Now if you got fired out of your job, you wouldn't be laughing at all. You would be crying to your wife in her arms hoping you could find a way to get some more money. So I don't understand why you know what I mean it's funny when this is happening with you. Like I was saying, I didn't get to my point. I said this is real. So everybody that I see laughing or joking that somebody got cut, to me, that's not funny because, like, for life. You know what I mean? I was getting their job. Now, let's start this off the right way, right? Since everybody inquiring minds want to know. I was going to stay quiet because I don't downplay or frown upon other people or try to act like I'm better than people. I didn't get cut. I still have my show. And with that being said, I still wasn't going to say nothing because what do I get out of that? What do I get out of bashing people that are my peers, people that I work with people that I, you know what I mean, interact with, that I fuck with. So I wasn't going to speak on it at all. I don't think it was my business to speak on it because who am I? I'm not God. You know what I mean, I'm not the caffeine CEO. If the caffeine CEO wanted to, you know what I mean, give a statement or a press release, that's up to them. That's not up to me to do. But no, I didn't lose my show and I still was going to stay quiet. I stay quiet all the time. People lie on my name. People say shit that's not true. And I don't usually react off reactions, but I felt the need to talk about this because it's like a lot of things is in an uproar. So first and foremost, Right? Let's start with that. Anybody that's making a joke about this, I don't think it's funny because everybody has their day. Whether you lost your, your deal on caffeine, whether you got exposed about something, whether you got clowned, whether you got your ass whooped in a battle, whether you a fraud, whatever. Everybody has their day. So I, I always sit back and laugh when it's somebody else's day and when day comes, they want the madness to stop. So, you know what I mean? Cool. Now, as far as what's going on with caffeine, caffeine, as people do know, when you are running a business from the beginning, I don't think anybody should be upset or mad at caffeine because they provided jobs for a lot of battle rappers outside of battle. Now, anytime you have a job like this, it's not going to last forever. It's going to be based on consistency. It's going to be based on numbers. It's going to be based on how hard people work, how hard people are being active. So nonetheless, when people go, oh, caffeine ended because it's fake numbers. No, that has nothing to do with why the partnerships ended with the ones that ended. Like, if anything that you're doing in business, it's called the ROI, return on investment. At some point in time, return on investment means if people are not seeing return on investment, why would they keep putting money into something? So furthermore, right, I got this for you. The real reason why all these shows and all this stuff is getting cut down is on us. From battle rappers getting paid high amounts of money, not promoting the right way, from fans that don't support but that are bootlegging events, that's not happening. What company is going to keep investing millions of dollars into something and they're not seeing the return? Things are going to cut back. If I have millions of dollars, no matter how much money I have, why would I keep investing my money and I'm not seeing the numbers keep shooting up and keep doing it? It's been three years now. When you're handling business, you're supposed to see a return on any business within three to five years. And if you don't, you make changes to how you're operating with your business plan and your layup. So that's all that's happened. You know what I mean? And certain people have great shows and we're consistent. And it just so happens that they fall in the category of losing it. But I don't understand how this can ever be, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, the butt of a joke. So that's why I was lost. Like, I'm disappointed. Nonetheless, I'm not here to judge nobody or argue with nobody. I don't want to go back and forth. I'm just disappointed to see, like, somebody losing something is a topic of discussion where people are, are actually thrilled about it and you see them happy. Yeah, what you going to do now? You're going to go to YouTube? Oh, let's see how tough it is over here. That all sounds like jealousy. It sounds like you was mad you never got it there. Sound like you was mad that you never got put on it. That's what it sounds like to me. You know what I mean? When, when people go, look, now you got to come over here with us. It sounds like you just been waiting for this day so you can have, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, time to say something. It's crazy to me, but nonetheless, right, with me saying all this, right, because, I, you know, I know how the mind works. If I lost my deal and I said this, I'd be like, oh, DNA, you're only saying this because you're not on here no more. So you're one of those people. Uh-uh-uh. I'm not one of those people. And furthermore, in fact, for the people that are talking shit and doing this, you know I never talk numbers or never do none of this. You can ask EK. You can ask Caffeine and everybody else that's on it. I've been with Caffeine since 2020. It is now 2003, and we're midway in the year. And somebody prove me when I'm wrong, because I love fact checking the niggas and doing this. I have the best show on caffeine, aside from Jay Black. And I get paid the most on caffeine out of all battle rappers. 
So it ain't nothing at that point. It ain't nothing else to talk about. 